Hello, thank you for checking out Prefab Maker. Once you've imported the uh, program you'll find that uh, it has been added to the project folder here. Um, if you've got the Mesh Maker package it has been added to the to the menu here as well as the main menu. If you've got the, uh, the standalone package you'll find it in the window menu. And if we open it up now you'll see that it's uh, shows all of the objects in the center view here, the center column, and you can include or exclude the objects and the materials manually here. You'll also notice that you can uh, change the shader and the texture at this stage. The Atlas settings uh, allow you to choose uh, the the format of the final atlas, whether you want it compressed for the mobile or the or the PC, um, and also the other settings like uh, compression quality, the the size, and the wrap mode can all be set via the atlas settings. Many of these objects are using solid colors without a texture, and uh, we're going to create uh, what are called swatches. Um, which will then be added to the atlas to allow us to combine them using the same shader as the other materials. So we're going to leave that on. We can also choose the uh, can also choose the type of collider and set the pivot point. In this case, I'm going to set the pivot point to the center, which is shown by this small yellow sphere, and you can position that where you need the final handle to be for the uh, new prefab that's going to be created. Just minimize that. If we head over to the atlas here, you can see that it's auto atlas um, and change the atlas width and height based on these textures. Uh, in some cases, you might want to reduce these. Um, you can click to shrink or expand um, the textures here. You can also rotate them if you've got some uh, long ones like this one here. Sometimes it might fit better. like so. And we can go update and uh, I'll just shrink a couple more of these and hit the update button. You can change the percentage uh, that it will resize here if you want to do finer changes in their size. You can do that here. You can also move them to the front or the back uh, depending on how you want to, to layer these textures in the final atlas and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So if I just zoom in here you'll notice that the solid colors used by these materials are using these swatches, uh, small textures that have just been made for this process. If we head back over to the objects here I think we're ready to go. It's got 14,000 vertices, about 30 materials at the moment, five unique shaders so we'll go ahead and combine these objects. Only one of these objects is uh, giving me some trouble because it's reusing the same material on uh, two of its submeshes. So we're just going to exclude that material from the final prefab, the Atlas process. And uh, if we click Combine Objects, uh, choose a folder to save all of the assets in. I'm going to reuse this one. It will save all of the uh, assets, the materials, the textures and the mesh and the new prefab in that new folder and when it's finished it will place the new prefab in the hierarchy and it'll actually deactivate all of the currently selected objects. To re-enable them you can simply click on the uh, tick box here in the inspector for all of the disabled objects and you'll be back to the original scene. It can take a while for uh, this many materials to combine those and we should end up with an object uh, with roughly 14,000, just slightly over 14,000 vertices. And here we can see our new prefab. Um, we can move it around as a single object now and uh, you can see that it has Atlas the textures assigned them to each of the different materials depending on the shader. 
we've still got the five shaders but we're down to six materials you can also see that it's auto uh, atlas the detail maps in this case the normal map for this for the shader and it's excluded these two because of the uh, duplication and if we have a look in the party scene folder you can see that we've got our new materials our mesh and textures as well as the normal map and we can drag a, a copy of the prefab into the scene just like that and we'll just step back and uh, to, to step back to the original object uh, the original objects we can delete the original one enable all of the objects again and we're back to the the original scene that we had before and now we can test the program with some more complicated meshes over here if I select these ones here, you'll see that there's 30,000 vertices. This texture here is a bit of a problem. Uh, it's very large and if we try and shrink it, it may uh, bring up an out of memory error because um, there's just so many pixels in this texture. Uh, what we can do is we can simply exclude the material from the Atlas process. It's still pretty large, so I'm just going to shrink all. Just wait for that to uh, catch up. These ones here could also be shr shrunk a lot more because there's not much detail on these. So that one and one on that. And then we hit the update button to group them. And now we're within a, a suitable size for the Alice. And we can go ahead and combine those. And I'll call this a new one, a new scene. select the folder and it'll go ahead and uh, start to combine an atlas these objects here and hopefully we'll end up with uh, roughly the same number of vertices slightly over 30,000 I think move the pivot point in this one so the pivot point will actually show up uh, at zero which I believe is here okay we have our atlas object our new prefab select all of these cubes we have over 384 of these. It does slow the program down a bit, but it's still usable. And we're going to go ahead and combine these now. And we'll click the Combine Objects. Give it a new folder. Something like that. Hit Build. take too long uh, we've ended up with one uh, material the atlas one shader being diffuse and all of the objects are combined again I forgot to uh, set the pivot point but there you go that's the new prefab and of course we can instantly add that as a prefab and so just to go through the combine options here uh, we can turn on and off the creation of those um, what I call swatches uh, which are just uh, small pieces of material that um, allow you to atlas the solid colors uh, you can choose the collider type uh, for the final prefab um, you can also of course uh, set to center manually position or reset the pivot point and in the settings here you can save load uh, the, the settings and if you need to you can go back to the the defaults thank you for watching uh, i hope you find prefab maker very useful and uh, bye for now